Hello and welcome to this new video about how we can add a Zoom meeting to a Moodle course. It's actually pretty easy. It's uh, not it's not really rocket science. I'm going to just show you how we can do it. So here is our Moodle as you can see and here we are logged in into our Zoom. As you, uh, as you can also see there is no scheduled upcoming meeting we are going to add a meeting from Moodle in the course so that we can actually see it right so let's get started the first thing we have to do is to we have already logged in into our zoom we have already logged in into our zoom but we need to log into Moodle as well so let us log in when we log in and this is the first important part of the things we need to log in with a user that has uh, that is also created in zoom okay so let's say my uh, users email id is indradg at l2c2.co.in in moodle which means in zoom as well i need to have a user created uh, as a host we should also have the same email ID that is Indra DG at the right l2c2.co.in. Okay. Now Zoom admin is, is just a name. Don't go by the Zoom admin. That means yeah, yeah, admin hi hey, as a nothing like that. It's just a name for that, all that matters. All this one has is that this is the email ID for the Zoom admin is basically set to this account which we have logged in okay so right now you can see there are no meetings uh, now zoom admin is member of one course uh, as a teacher so we are going to set up the zoom integration testing we're going to set up a meeting we're going to set up a zoom meeting session the first thing we do is turn editing on okay now here we go these are the steps add an activity or resource so this pop-up comes up which is all the available activities which you have so simply just search for zoom yeah there is a zoom meeting okay so as the tooltip says add a new zoom meeting so we click on it single click And it's a waiting for the site to refresh. Yeah, so we just started the process. So this is the process. This is how we set up a Zoom meeting from within Moodle. So let's call it. Since we are doing testing, so I've done five tests so far. So let's call it uh, Zoom test number six. Uh, on model integration right okay we copy paste this we put this in the description because this is what will show the users and we also set up something since zoom now needs uh, you to provide a password if you are not uh, having already a zoom account you need to have give a password before you can access a meeting so we need to add a password now where, where will we get this that password from that is one thing people usually ask see in zoom you will uh, you can get it on the zoom interface but here we are doing it from the Moodle. So here when once we when this page loaded up this is our password we can change it here before we can use it or we can just choose to use whatever is there without anything now you're going to copy and paste this why because we need to let our users know when they come to this Moodle page that look, this is what you need to look at. Okay, this is the password that you need to access. Now, uh, one thing here, you might question that um, is it safe to give the password aloud like this? Well, in case of Moodle, uh, only the students and the faculty members who are registered for a particular course 
will be able to see this detail. This detail is not open to everybody, not to any Tom, Dick and Harry who wants to browse over to the site. No, only for the registered participants. So display this on the course page. We need to define when we want to have this meeting so we can schedule it days in advance. So if you're having a timetable, we can have it. So let's say on 18th, sure, uh, sure at 18th, let's say we wanted to have it at 9, 9 a.m. in the morning. So 9 a.m. duration, we can have it for one hour. We can have it for minutes, days, weeks, seconds, whatever. So let's say we can say we wanted a 90 minute. So went to 90 minute session. We have an option to say this is a this would be a recurring event, which means every day for next seven days or so at 9, 9 a.m. This would be uh, uh, this Zoom meeting would happen. OK, for this particular course. Now, how is this useful? This is useful in cases where we want that our uh, that every day at nine, there will be a particular class. Uh, there will be a Zoom meeting for a particular class. That we are teaching every day at nine. So if your timetable is set up like that, you can just call it re recurring. So you don't have to do it for every day. So once you set it up for the next seven days, it will be like recurring at that point of time. Okay, so recurring and uh, has no end date. Okay, you might choose not to make it a uh, meeting. You can make it a webinar also. So we are not dealing with a webinar right now. So nothing doing. Password we've already copied and pasted, pasted here in the description and we, uh, but just, just writing it down here is not enough. Make sure you also turn on the display description in the course page, right? So it's set for morning 9 a.m. for 90 minutes. Password is this, yeah. Now here's a few settings we need to look at. Host video, so whoever is hosting, their video should be displayed to everybody, so host video is on. Participant video by default we want it off. Okay, so audio options only VOIP. Only VOIP means basically that uh, we will not be using dial in, we will not be using tel telephone connection, but we will be using our speakers and our microphones on our computer or on our phone. Okay, so that is VOIP, nothing else. That means you are not using a phone to dial in, but rather the speaker and microphone on your computer or laptop or on the phone. Okay. Mute upon entry. Mute upon entry. Uh, the help uh, the tooltip doesn't tell, tell us much. Mute upon entry means that uh, whoever comes in, they'll be muted by default. So you won't uh, once it starts, you won't be bothered by people going uh, speaking, mumbling. And the, this makes sure that there's not a, not a lot of noise in the room at the, at the time of the meeting. Enable join before host. So you can join like 15 minutes or 10 minutes as, as defined. Enable waiting room. Waiting room is a good concept. Waiting room means that uh, people who, who are eligible to join will, go, will be in the waiting room and the host will allow them, will admit them. They use the word admit. So you see the meeting, meeting options. Right. So this is the, the, the tooltip also tells you what about this. Uh, that join before host and waiting rooms is a mutually exclusive. So electing one will deselect others. It's also possible to select neither. Authenticated users request all attendees to sign in with their authorized Zoom account to be able to join. So we don't want that because we are already using a password for users to join. So authenticated users, we don't want that and uh, enable waiting room mm, enable waiting room okay let's have it want to add them one by one but this is this is basically up to you whichever works better for you and here is an important thing alternative hosts okay alternative hosts so uh, aside from the zoom admin who, who will be the will be the by default the host of this meeting I want to add another host. So let that be uh, one gentleman who is there at this institute. So dot ac dot in. So Maharaj Das will be the alternate host, which basically means either Maharaj Das or the Zoom admin login, either of these two users can start that meeting. Okay. Now 
you have basically done except it one more thing activity completion you just turn it off do not indicate activity completion okay and save and return to course save and return to course let it it's saving okay so there you see this is this it's showing this now we will turn edit editing off here now remember we are still logged in as zoom admin okay so we are logged in as zoom admin is showing us that this is this this course is there and let me see has it scheduled anything out here so let me just quickly bingo 9 a.m zoom test number six on Moodle integration okay let's see if it has been set up as we wanted yes this is this the password is also showing here Meeting ID, yeah. Alternative host, the alternate host is also yeah. the invite link. See, video is on for host, participant is off. Audio is VIP. Remember VIP? That's your VIP. Okay. Meeting options. Enable waiting room. This records the meeting automatically in the cloud. Now you should make, you should keep in mind that your cloud space, which you have to subscribe separately, should have enough free space to record it. Okay, so that's it. You also have live streaming these that you can live stream it to Facebook Live, Facebook Workplace, YouTube, and other things. So after launching the meeting, click more and then choose this option. So these options are there. Okay, so as you can see, this has been set okay this has been set now let's see something here let's log out of this or uh, or for instance oh, oh i didn't really need to do this fine anyway i'll go back here So click on this. So unable to join at this time. Why? Because simply put, a start time is not there. It is not there yet. Okay. So this is not possible. Now, <clears throat> let's create a meeting right now. And see what happens should we be able to join it or not so add another one more zoom <sighs> okay sorry zoom test number this should be seven for Moodle integration. Okay. Copy description paste. Let's set it up for password. Password is just a couple of fields down. Yeah, this is a password. So password. So just follow the steps once again. This is as simple as this display this now here we are going to let's say make it this is right right now it is 11 minutes past two so we want to start it at uh, 15 minutes so okay let's leave it at one hour or let, let's make it 90 minutes so way we made it so that you know we are comparing apples to apples so password you've already copied require meeting password yes host video on this that vibe mutant entry uh enable okay here let's see what happens enable waiting room is off only authenticated users is off and let's make mr maharaj thus as the alternate 
okay and the last step activity completion we don't want any activity completion here so do not indicate this save and return to course save and return to course right now it's 12 minutes past 2 12 minutes past 2 okay so now there are uh, let's turn editing off so there are two six and seven let's see at meetings whether it has added one more or not yep so one is there at 2 15 a.m okay which will be there in like <coughs> excuse me in like another two minutes okay so let's see what does it say now yeah because it is going to just start in a few minutes it now says start meeting okay start meeting now let us see something else here before we start anything let's look at um, okay fine courses a demo course a demo course let's see who are the registered users users enrolled users so yeah so this is the one this is the user we have been using to create okay there is a dummy user who is a student there's only a single student in the class okay and there is mr maharaj das who is also the manager okay so let's do something let's do something let's go as a dummy user student let's see it from the student's perspective because ultimately after doing all this if the student cannot see it the whole thing goes down the drain so login not so admin this time it is dummy user i have the password already saved so hopefully it will allow me to log in okay yeah dummy user number one it's allowed me to log in there is several courses this is available so here is our demo course demo number one and you know it is here because there you have it okay now let's go for seven because it's supposed to start already see for dummy user it says join meeting for dummy user it says join meeting yeah so let's log out and let's log in as what let's log in as admin because Moodle admin has got a unique not exactly unique has a trick up its sleeve using it we can impersonate another user is an ordinary user so i said remember that maharaj das is an alternate host there we have our maharaj das let's log in into his account is it his account and yeah log in as maharaj das so you're logged in as maharaj das continue so you can see over here you are logged in as maharaj das you see here okay so here demo course is there there are six and seven six is supposed to be seven is supposed to be the one that's supposed to start at 2 15 yeah maharaj das as the alternate host can also start the meeting okay so Let's Mr. Maharaj start the meeting. 
click automatically launches zoom you want zoom to open this application open zoom meetings zoom 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 is connecting the zoom app and MDM Mushidabad doesn't have me yeah join with computer audio okay let's forget that for a second uh, this shows the camera is off because I shut my camera off okay now one thing I'm going to do here is that I am going to log in as a student okay from my phone so from my phone I'm going to do it so it's elearning.mdim let's do the login what happened no internet okay yeah so I'm going to log in as Okay, well, uh, so dummy user, my student, student three one seven six zero six is the password. So join meeting. Wants to open the browser, uh, the app on the phone, the Zoom app, and the password three one seven six zero six, and I call it a dummy student. There you go, dummy student has joined. So, do you see the participants? There you have host me and there's a dummy student. Okay. Video is off by default. So, here I can make, in, make dummy student a host, make it co-host. Put in waiting room, ask to start video. Okay. So, and if we are done here, close it, end meeting for all. End meeting for all, close this. Now, Let's see here. Let's refresh. Still showing. Why? Because it was supposed to be for one hour. It's not yet one hour. So after 315, this will probably go off. Let me see if it's recorded anything or not. Yes. Zoom test number seven for Moodle integration. Started at this two files. Okay, so you can do whatever you want with that. This is as simple as this. And so this was adding a Zoom meeting to a Moodle course. No rocket science really. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just like let me know. Have a good day.